Current U.S. military pursuits, such as the Joint Tactical Radio System, or Jitters, are based on a software-defined radio system. These kinds of systems use the flexibility of software to make old and new radio technology interoperable. Coexistence of different radio technologies will definitely be a force enabler, but it still falls short, particularly for military operations in which failure to coexist can cause interference fratricide between allied radios. Today, joint military access to the electromagnetic spectrum is coordinated through the Joint Frequency Management Office, which regulates spectrum use for expected military operations. However, we know that missions change according to the situation at hand, and likewise spectrum demands change. Spectrum access then becomes the limiting factor for rapid allied troop maneuvering, and commanders must spend their time renegotiating for their slice of the electromagnetic pie. Practical access of the unused spectra, also called white space, whose availability shifts dynamically in space and time, requires an adaptive solution that can identify the presence of primary users, determine their spatial locations, estimate their antenna patterns, and characterize the propagation environment. Using flexible, commercially available software-defined radios, we defined a collaborative network that implemented detection and localization algorithms to map the RF environment based on received signal strength of active emitters. In utilizing this map, primary allied spectrum users may continue to operate unimpeded and the collaborating radios, or secondary users, can productively share the limited medium. By applying this research to see spectral targets of opportunity, allied warfighters can more effectively execute their overwhelming combat power wherever and whenever they are needed.